good afternoon, everybody. My topic is the fabrication of a uh, push prototype electrostatic comb drive IF memory switch. Uh, this is the outline. First uh, is the introduction. The second part is the design of the IF memory switch. Uh, then is the fabrication process. Uh, the uh, next is the measurement results, and the final is the, the conclusion. Uh, first, uh, let, uh, let us have a glance at the application of uh, IF memory switches. This is uh, a classical classical IF memory switch. Uh, the uh, advantage of this uh, IF memory switch is uh, low insertion loss, low DC consumption. Uh, it can used in the cell phone, uh, the phrased array reader, the phrased uh, phrase shifter in the phrased array reader, uh, and also the net uh, switch networks in satellites. Satellite. Uh, However, we want the IF memory switch have a, a higher isolation. So the push pull type IF memory switch is invented for a higher isolation. This is a push pull type IF memory switch pre uh, reported in 2000 here. It uh, you use uh, torsion springs and the leverages. The switch isolation as high as uh, 40 dB at uh, 1 gigahertz is obtained by the push pull operation. This is the uh, torsion spring. So when when it uh, uh, push in in here, it uh, have a larger Separation, so the, uh, it will have a larger is uh, isolation than the uh, normal IF memory switch. Uh, this is uh, also pu uh, is a push pull type IF memory switch uh, reported in 2010. Uh, it uh, used the push pull toggle structure and the combination of electromagnetic and electrostatic forces, a single pole double throw type switch is realized, and the isolation of uh, 54 dB at uh, 2 gigahertz is achieved. The uh, microwave uh, separation is just like this one, the same. Uh, next is the let me introduce the move moving types and the fabrication approaches. Uh, IF memory switches can be sorted as uh, uh, as its moving moving types. Uh, one is moving vertically vertically device, and the, the other is the moving literally. Uh, like this one is the moving vertically. It, uh, these uh, structures always uh, fabricated fabricated by surface sacrificial layer process, uh, such as uh, above two uh, uh, push pull type switches. Uh, however, we can see their DC control signals are complex because they need a, they need a, they both need one voltage to push and another voltage to pull. Uh, this is the moving literally devices. It uh, always uh, 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 the metal mumps fabrication process can be made this moving literally devices, and uh, uh, the other process like uh, silicon, silicon uh, and uh, and glass uh, 
nautic bonding also can make this moving literary devices. Moving literally provides the benefits of uh, flexibility of implant design. So uh, our work is to fabricate a simple control push prototype switch using literary structures. Uh, okay, next is the design of the IFMAM switch. This is the literally actuated push prototype switch we designed. Uh, the driving parts are designed to be involved in in the CPW line, the transmission line. So the uh, device will be uh, more compact. Uh, next, the two drives groups are used to accomplish the push action and the pull action at one step. Uh, I, we use two uh, action parts. One is to pull and one is to push. So we can uh, use only one voltage to control the push and pull uh, action. <coughs> the third is the uh, we use monocrystalline silicon as the material for all moving parts. So uh, it is more reliable reliable compared to uh, classic uh, membrane structures. The fourth is the fabrication of the proposed switch is based on the widely used silicon on glass process. This is uh, this is the silicon part. This is the uh, Pyrex glass. The DC DC control. Uh, line is uh, on the uh, surface of the sub uh, glass sub substrate, and uh, here is the uh, contact uh, part. Uh, the the side the side at the contact part is also covered with uh, metal, so it, uh, it's it will uh, contact uh, better have a, a better con contact uh, uh, resistance. Uh, here is the mechanical design. So we need to calcul calculate the, the pulling voltage of the actuator. The act act uh, calculation expression is uh, like this. Uh, well, W is the length of the overlapping arrow. T is the thickness of the actuator. K is the spring constant of the mo movable beam. He, uh, this part is the move movable beam. And N is the number of the combo finger pairs. Uh, G uh, there is the equivalent L gap. Uh, the equivalent L gap is approximately calculated as uh, this uh, expression. Uh, G1 is the small gap of the uh, actuator, and uh, G2 is the uh, larger gap of the actuator. When G2 is uh, uh, two times larger than G1, the the <coughs> Equivalent equivalent L gap can be uh, approximately calculated like this. This this is the literally actuated combo like parallel pa plate actuator. This uh, next we we need to uh, get the spring constant or of the electro uh, of the movable beam. So next, we <coughs> use uh, FVM simulation to get the to calculate the uh, spring constant of the movable beam. We can see that the uh, movable beam under 100 micronewton is 1.3. 3 micrometer. So the 
spring constant is calculated as a 75.2 newton per meter. Uh, and uh, the movable beam are notched, notched here near the anchor parts to reduce the its spring constant. Uh, here is the uh, uh, designed act actuator parameters uh, WTN uh, G1, G2. So sub sub uh, substituting above parameters into the expression, the designed pulling voltage is calculated as uh, f nearly 50 volts, 49.2 volts. Uh, the next is the I design of the of, of our structure. This is a simple lump circuit model of our switch. When the switch is uh, on, it uh, connects the resistance. The contact contact part is uh, modeled as a resistor. When the switch is off, the contact part is modeled as a, a cap cap capacitor. Uh, Actually, it is the parasitic capacitor. Uh, the this picture is the simulated isolation in HFSS. The contact gap is designed as uh, is set as uh, four micrometer. Okay. Besides uh, above designs, uh, IF performance improved methods is also uh, used as uh, just as uh, one is the substitute six silicon is partly moved by dry attach uh, between the sig signal line and uh, the ground line, so the substitute loss is uh, reduced. Uh, second is the comb, comb structures are not covered with metal uh, here. So the signal reflection inside of the transmission line is uh, also reduced. The third is the high in inductance design is used for DC bias line here. It, uh, like this. Uh, so the this uh, DC line bias line can separate separate the DC control signal from the micro uh, wave signal. Uh, the third part is the fabrication process. Okay, uh, first the Pyrex uh, glass is uh, uh, DC bias line is deposited and patented on the uh, Pyrex glass sub substrate. Uh, a 50 nanometer and a 150, uh, one, uh, 150 chromium and the good layer is uh, spotted here. Uh, the other is the uh, th this is the silicon silicon layer. Uh, we use IC, ICP process uh, to attach the the bottom of the uh, Silicon substrate by about 80, uh, 80 micrometer. Then uh, a Nordic bonding was processed between the glass uh, and the silicon. So we get this. Uh, next, the top silicon layer was uh, thin and polished to about to about 130 thick using uh, lapping and ch chemical mechanical polishing. So the structure layer is about uh, 50 micrometers here. Uh, next, is, uh, we plate the plating base layer 50 uh, about 50 nanometer and 500 uh, nanometer uh, ti <coughs> titanium and gold uh, was spotted. Then the gold 
is uh, electroplated. Electro, electroplated and uh, okay. uh, so the uh, electroplated in the in the structure here and the the contact part is contact part is also electroplated. So uh, the at last we use ICP to uh, to remove the plating base and uh, and uh, the transmission line. The structure is re released. Finally, this is the overview of the fabricated switches, and this is the SEM photograph. The contact uh, contact gap is about three three micrometer, which is wider than the designed value. The thickness uh, of the electroplated goods at the side wall is a bit thicker here. Uh, at last, the, this is the okay. This is the IF. Calculate, uh, calculate okay. Conclusion is conclusion is uh, we use the the switch is fabricated use the uh, silicon on, on glass based bulk silicon process and the monocrest silicon which is the most uh, robust and reliable structure material is used as the structure material for all moving parts. Then we use the gold electroplating uh, process is added to the silicon glass uh, process. Finally, we get the uh, comp drive groups to drive the switch on only by only one action signal. Thank you.